And now Roland joins us with another one of his weekend adventures. You know, and I can understand what those deputies have to deal with because when you get this beautiful warm weather like we had, especially on Friday and Saturday, it just drives you up into the mountains. So folks, let me just share with you very quickly. Last week I was just looking at stuff on Craigslist and I came across this, this picture of a motorcycle with this oh. background that looked incredible and I just hit the reply to the owner and I said, I'm not interested in your bike, but can you please tell me where this where you took this picture mm. because the scenery is so incredible. And so he sends me a drop pin and, and he says, you want to go? I'll, I'll just take you guys. So my son and I joined Ben Ingersoll. He took us on a tour of the mountains north of the Garden Valley up around Crouch. So there we were up on the top of this beautiful ridge line oh. and we just got up there. There's my son Scotty on the left and there's Ben on the right. And he spent, well, I'd say about 50 miles. We oh. rode through the beautiful wilderness and I've got to tell you, this, this mountain scenery that we have here, I lived in Utah for many years, but the riding here and the mountain scenery here is every bit of spectacular, if not even more incredible. 50 miles on a dirt bike, Brent. Mm -hmm. We were a little sore. I was reaching for the ibuprofen by the end of the day, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But it was gorgeous there on Saturday. The clouds started rolling in ahead of that storm system that finally came in on Sunday, and it did generate some showers. Mm -hmm. Everybody say hi to Ben. Hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. All right, good job. That was fun. Thanks, Ben. Here's the way it looks out there right now. We've got this weak storm that's kind of rotating around the Intermountain West. And as the system rotates around, it's bringing in some cool air and it's bringing in some occasional showers. Now, most of the shower activity has been out here around the Magic Valley. But notice how some of the shower activity is trying to rotate around and come into the Treasure Valley. It looks very, very light and very scattered in nature. So the potential is there for a couple of these showers later on this evening. Just keep that in mind. However, what is going to be affecting us over the next two days is this big area of high pressure that's sitting out here off the coastline. There's the next storm. It holds off until Thursday. The high pressure as it moves in is going to keep us warmer now. It's going to start driving our temperatures up tomorrow and also on Wednesday. We will enjoy lots of sunshine and then that storm system comes in here on Thursday and it will drop our temperatures and it will bring showers and maybe even the possibility of a few thunderstorms. So on the computer models through the day tomorrow, a couple of mountain showers are possible, but here in the Treasure Valley, it looks pretty nice and dry. Even on Wednesday, again, mostly dry conditions for us on Wednesday. Then here comes the storm, and as it moves in on Thursday, it'll probably be Thursday afternoon, and with it, showers and the possibility of some thunderstorms as the actual front moves in. Then just kind of unsettled weather with the possibility of some occasional showers on Friday, maybe a few showers here and there on Saturday, with Sunday's weather looking nicer. But uh, we're headed towards cool trend once again hmm. with highs in the 60s. Not bad. I've Not turned off bad. the irrigation again. Yes, I yeah. did. I did that as well mm -hmm. last night. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You bet.